Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury bag lover, collector, authenticator and consigner. You can check out the links below if you're interested. Now that's a handbag repair video and I'll try to bring a bag back to life. And if you think I'm exaggerating, you need to be emotionally prepared um, by the time you see this bag. So I need you to sit down, breathe in, and just calm down and let me show you what I have. Speedy bandolier. Oh my God! And uh, I don't, I'm not actually aware what they have done to the bag to make it look like this. Now, I haven't met the owner of this bag, but I have just one question in mind. How on earth? Shame. Shame. Now, I need to come down and think about what can I do uh, to make this bag look beautiful again. Basically, here's what we need to do. We need to do the full range of spa services on this bag. First of all, we need to clean the leather as it looks very tired. Um, it has different shapes. It has uh, a little bit of color transfer here. Um, and I believe um, we also will need to repair the corners as corners are rubbed heavily, like heavy, heavy rubs. Now here's the worst part. We'll need to remove the glazing and uh, put new glazing here, reglaze the handles to look them, make them look great again. Great again. And uh, well, hopefully, hopefully it will look um, not as new, definitely, but uh, it will look much better than it is in this video. We'll also need to clean the interior. And while I don't believe that we'll be able to remove all the stains, uh, I think we can definitely make it look nicer and uh, prettier and cleaner than it is right now. Now, are you ready? Now, I think you can see it, uh, the bag is very dirty. It's not just about the handles and the melted glazing here. It's about uh, the leather and the color transfer on it. So first of all, we'll try to minimize the color transfer that it has. And to do that, you may use any type of leather uh, cleaner that you have at home. I have this Colony Leather Lotion, which is very good and very soft on leather. It doesn't take away the color um, while uh, it minimizes the um, color transfer and the dirt. So first of all, we're going to treat the bag with the uh, Colony Conditioner and cleanser. We'll spray a little and then just try to clean it. Well, you can see that it's quite dirty. By the way, you can use this one on any of your unprong bags. Now we've cleaned the leather and it be it's better than it was before. Now, next, we can continue either with the bag's corners or the handles or the interior. I prefer to prepare the interior for the cleaning. This bag's interior has all the type of the stains that are usually in our bags. It has pen marks, uh, just some kind of cosmetic stains, dirt, and we need to remove that. And we'll start by removing the ink because it's harder to remove than anything else. All these types of dirt can be easily removed just by washing the interior, but we need to treat uh, pen marks additionally. And to completely remove them, however, I think we can definitely minimize them. And to do that, uh, we'll apply something that you all have at home, and that's a hairspray. You need to apply it to the ink marks. And we'll be washing the interior afterwards, so don't be afraid to apply too much. 
you can't make it worse. And then you might want to take them out a little. Just try, try to take out the, the pen like this. Rub it gently and you will see that uh, the hairspray is taking away the pen. Then you might want to do the second round of hairspray here. And you don't want to rub it too much, you just press it, press it, press it. And then you will see it on your cotton bud or whatever. After that, you may do several more rounds of hairspray or you just apply a very good stain remover. I, I, I'm using this Japanese stain remover, but, but you can use whatever you want, whatever you have in your country or at home. And then you just um, apply it to the stain and leave it for several, what, like 30 minutes uh, before washing it with your hands. You might actually want to try the same. Just press, press the ink marks and try to take the color away from the interior. And while we are waiting for the stain remover to function and to do its part, we'll take care of the handles. And obviously, uh, the first step when it comes to the handles, uh, the first step here is to remove that old, ugly, melted glazing here. And to do that, we just use a knife, any knife that you have, and we remove the glazing very gently, not to damage the bag, not to damage the leather, because we also have to remove it from the parts where it's not supposed to be. Have removed the glazing and as the next part we can either do the corners or do the, the glazing as you please. I'm now showing how to do the corners and uh, to fix them we'll need just uh, some kind of liquid leather. I'm sure there is anything on the market uh, on your market in your country. Uh, I use this sapphire. I bet, I bet you can find it on eBay or in Am on Amazon. Um, and we'll apply this liquid leather to the corners. I picked up one that is very similar uh, to the color of the bag. And we just gently apply it to the corner. Okay, it's been four weeks and I'm very sorry I wasn't able to show you the whole process, but at least I will give you now some insight on what types of chemical I used and what the bag looked like. It's not finished yet, however, the finished part looks like this. And uh, well, actually, it's a little better than it was before, right? So, uh, what did I use? First of all, I removed the glazing with a knife or with uh, something sharp. You can use anything, scissors, knives. Uh, you can also use sandpaper, but uh, just use it gently. You will remove um, some pieces of color, uh, of original color at some point. This is normal and please don't freak out. Um, that's something that will eventually happen. Now, after you remove the bad melted glazing, you need to use this, this chemical. It's from Kenda Farben and uh, it's called Centafil Dresser for Synthetic material, e uh, material Edges, right? So you just apply this chemical to the edges 
and then uh, use sandpaper to make the edges smooth here right on on the on the handle glazing i usually use center fill two or three times before the edge is very smooth and i'm happy with it once it's smooth once we applied sandpaper to make it smooth um, then you need something like edge coat this chemical doesn't even have its name but it's edge coating you can use any company there are a lot of them uh, starting from Phoebe's and uh, well to Kenda Farben actually that re also releases some types of uh, edge coating then you just apply edge coating over the, the these layers of centerfill why do we need to apply edge coat over a layer of centerfill because centerfill it's transparent it doesn't have any color in it um, once we apply the color then we make it nice and uh, well um, it corresponds to the uh, color of the bag. Oh, uh, actually there were rubs on handles and I'm gonna work on these handles a little bit more. Um, however, what you need to use here is, you need to use sa the same renovating cream that I used for corners. Actually, uh, almost no difference, but just apply gently and once you apply it to the handle, just buff it into the handle. Make it stick, make it feel the pores of the leather. Once this work is done, the final step would be to renovate the uh, color of the bag, the overall color of the leather. And to do that, I'm using this renovating balm from Avil Company. But I bet you can find um, some from other companies too, and they're as good. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to apply this because this is actually a little bit more tricky than uh, the color for the corners or the color for the glazing. Now, this part is already done and this side needs to be done. So let's do it. You apply a little bit of the renovating balm to a cotton pad and then very gently start working it through. You need to remove the excess of this balm. Easy. Then continue to the rest of the bag in the same, the same way. Can you see that it's getting brighter? After you apply this balm on this side of the bag, you just take out the excess. Otherwise, it can do a little color transfer on your cloths, but we don't want that. That is why we are carefully removing an excess of this balm. It'll look like that. So here we are, a beautifully renewed trash speedy bandoulier in Amprong. Now it looks much better than it was, right? And uh, I bet you cannot make a new bag out of a very old one. However, you can make it look like this and uh, you can make it look pretty good to be able to enjoy it a little bit more and just not to, instead of throwing it away, just to enjoying it like this it's actually not that bad now i hope this video was useful and if it was like it and subscribe to the channel that's the best way to show your appreciation um, now i will be uploading uh, videos on handbag spa as well as many videos as i can um, however most of my videos are uh, reviews of some bags or just authentication of Louis Vuitton, Gucci and other brands. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.